How's it going everybody? We are out here on Lake of the Woods. I just got set up. So I got my holes drilled, live scope down. I'm in about 26 feet of water. Here we go, we just dropped our first one down for the day. We've got a shiner on a dead stick hanging about, we'll call it about a foot off of the bottom. Tuned up custom rod, dead stick, Akuma bait feeder reel. Let's do this now, see what we can get. I'm gonna throw another dead stick down this hole too. Oh, oh, that looks like a little bit bigger one. Take it, take it, oh, he's got it. It's a better one. That's a better guy. That's a better one, huh? Oh shoot. He had a shiner in his mouth too. He's still alive. I'll have to use him. But look at that. Nice. Let him go. Here's a big one. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. You just hit my line. All right, we moved spots. Uh, the other spot was just a bunch of small little dink walleye. I think the biggest one that I caught there was 13 and a half inches. Right now, I'm on 11 and a half inches of ice. I'm loving the shack. It is super cold out. Um, but what I got going here, I've got two dead sticks right now just while I get situated waited a little bit more. But I got this camera going. I got this camera going up top. And then I'm probably going to throw a wide angle camera on here as well. So I'm ready to go. I got to get jazzed up here, grab some snacks, maybe get some tunes going in between fish. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Heavier. It's a walleye for sure. Doesn't feel very big though. Oh. Head shakes are pretty good size though. Holy crap. That's what you call a lake of the woods crappie. Woo! Look at that. On a shiner minnow, baby. Here. I did not think I would be out here catching crappies on Lake of the Woods, but I ain't complaining. Makes a little bit more sense now, the way that it was acting. I didn't know that I was on a crappie bite in 24 feet of water. Look at that fish. All right, let's get a measure on it, huh? That's a 12er, that's an eater. Put her in the live well. What I'm using is this guy right here. It's a, it's a regular treble hook and it's got like a glow little uh, weight bead thingy in it there. Um, I'll link them down below so you can pick some up if you want, but this with the shiner is my go-to for dead sticking. And I never would have expected that to be a crappie. 12 incher, which was a nice size one, obviously not massive, but 24 foot of water on Lake of the Woods. I wouldn't necessarily think that was a crappie that was roaming around the bottom, but I'm happy I got it.
last night was a little bit rough. I was running low on propane. I had another 20 pounder in my truck, but that's four miles on shore. So I had to wake up at about 4 a.m. this morning, hop on the ATV, 20 mile an hour winds, negative five degrees, temperature and then I ran out of a lot of battery power. Fortunately, I had some extra batteries in the truck so I had to get those as well. All right, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. We've got a just a normal snap-on weight and then a shiner minnow on a big pink hook. I'm upsizing my hooks because I seem to keep losing fish halfway up and I don't know if it's because my hook size is too small. The last fish, I set the hook so dang hard, I think I literally ripped its mouth off, but I lost the minnow as well. This happens again where I get stripped. I think it's been five times today. I haven't caught a fish. I had smaller treble hooks. I upgraded to bigger treble hooks. Lost one on both already. I tried slow and steady. I tried <laughs> giving it the god awful hook set. I, I, I'm at a loss right now. The only thing that I can think of is they're grabbing onto that shiner minnow and not the hook. That's all I can think of. So if that happens again, I'm gonna switch up to the dinner bell and we're gonna see because if they hit the dinner bell, they got hook in the mouth. So we're gonna see if that works. There we go. He smashed this. He's trying. I'm not gonna give him any slack. I'm just gonna keep the pressure going like crazy. Tossing my minnow. You didn't take it though, did ya? Did ya? Here it is. These are the culprits. I love these these Daiwa, the QZ750. It's the perfect ice fishing reel. It's compact, it's not too big. It looks nice. It's got a great drag system, the ball bearings. I love the cork handle on it. And probably my favorite feature um, for ice fishing reels at least is the clicking and folding handle. I've got the Otter 48 deep case, so it's a huge case, but this still is immensely helpful when you're looking to load it up with a lot of different rods. Oh, that's a bigger mark than I thought it was. This might be a walleye. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Yes, sir. Look at that walleye. Woo! On this little uh, pink treble hook jig guy, right in the lip. Look at that. Perfect hookup. Awesome. Awesome. We got to get a measure on this guy. This is great. There he is. He was just about. 10 feet under there. Look at that fish. Boom. Stud muffin. 20 and a half inches. She's in the slot, so she's got to go back. But a beautiful fish. Here she goes. Bye. That is what you call sticking around for that night bite. It is 9.42 p.m. Uh, just seeing stragglers come through. This is why you fish at night, right there. That's awesome. I know it wasn't a beast. For a lot of you, you're like, oh, it's only 20 and a half inches, but dude, I'm telling you, that's the biggest fish I caught on this trip so far, and there's gonna be more. Let's keep going. All right, so for that walleye, this is what I had some luck with. This is like a dropper style uh, jig bait. It's pink, it glows pink. I'll glow it up so that you can see it here. And then I had a shiner minnow hooked through the tail, uh, pointed down, and I had it glowed up. So this I had just dropped down probably 10 minutes ago. I've been circling through a lot of pink and gold tonight, trying to get something to work. I've had luck uh, the last couple of days here with pink treble hooks in a shiner minnow, but I wanted something that was glow since it's nighttime and ideally glow pink. And this was one of the guys that I had um, that seems to make some noise in the water when I jig it. But then also, I mean, these fish, this trip for some reason, only want live bait. So I'm giving them what they want and we can see what we can do. So let me glow this up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I don't know how easy or hard this is to see here, 
but you can kind of see we've got glow on the top part and glow on the bottom part. But my line is shot after that, so we're gonna go ahead and retie this back on and get it back down there. Got him. Pink guy did it again. Nice walleye, huh? 15 inches to start the day. First time just sat down, started jigging. We'll let her go back, a little small. We're looking to maybe catch a couple eaters here, bring home, if we catch them early enough, maybe we'll do a little catch and cook while we're here, but um, it's a good sh sign. So what we're doing is this guy again, uh, the pink dropper, I didn't glow it but it's got the beads on the inside, it makes some noise, and then it's also got a uh, shiner that I tip on the bottom. This feels like a bigger fish, for sure. A bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. Those head shakes though. Those head shakes though. Ooh, she's running too. You hear that? Is it my turn yet? This is epic. You can see it on the live scope too. I'm trying not to accidentally hit my bait feeder. I can see my way. Oh my gosh. It's a massive fuel power. <clears throat> Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at this beast. Get this chair out of the way. Beast. Right here. Right now. Wow. Look at this big ugly thing. You seeing this? Holy crap. It's just a bunch of muscle. Look at this thing. It's massive. I gotta get a measure on it. So slimy, 32 inch eel pout. Look at this thing, just a beast, just a beast. We got 30 and three quarter inches, nice. Oh, we're doubled up, we got a walleye on the other one I think. All right, we gotta let her go. We gotta let her go, we're doubled up it looks like. All right, we gotta let her go. We gotta get this chair out of here. Man, we got madness happening. All right, say goodbye. Oh, the slime everywhere. The slime everywhere. Look at that thing, though. That's an awesome fish. Woo! All right, go back down. See you later. Wow, look at it on the screen, go. That's awesome, that was an awesome fight. That was fun. Other line got robbed, shinerless. 
Oh, that was worth it though. That was freaking worth it. Woo! Man, I am jacked. I, I have only caught a burbot one other time in my life and I think it was like 12 inches and it was like four years ago ice fishing. I can't believe I just reeled that in. I was so excited about that fish and it seemed so big to me, which I guess maybe that's fairly average. I don't know, I'll have to look it up after, but I just wanted to get it, get a, a picture of it here, get some video of it, get it back in the water. And that was awesome. That made the whole trip right there. All right, it's that time. I gotta pack up and get home. Thank you so much for watching and check out this next video on the screen because I think you're gonna like it. And until next time, take it easy.